Welcome to the Blitz Pick, guys. Wow, this place is so cool. Hey Mario, look up there. There's a battle match going on right now. That's right! Ugh! I think it's about time for you to feel the rock! Oof. Stay down, Pincushion! You won't, won't... You don't want more of this. Why do you even show up? Yeah, you hear me talking, Wimpy. Stay out of the ring or feel a burn, baby! Tell you what. Do a million push-ups and then come see Uncle Rockhawk. I'll give you another world-class spanking and send you crying on the mama again. Ooh-wee, champ. That was a great eye whooping. Your thoughts on the match? You call that a match? There ain't, ain't there a fighter out there who can challenge me? No, no one can, hear me? No, ain't a fighter out there that can even make me sweat. They're all a bunch of little crybabies running around in stinky diapers. You got a bone to pick? Come fight me. Bring it. I'll take on anyone. You weaklings might as well stick to video game fighting, okay? I sense pain for you in the future for saying that. Cause I'll hurt you. Yeah! Number one, baby! Rockhawk is the champ! <laughs> oh my god, look at that! Um, you see that, Mario? The thing on that shiny belt, isn't that a crystal star? Yeah, yeah, it's gotta be! That sparkle's a crystal star! So it doesn't look as sparkly, but still, it definitely has... Crystal Star appearance. Um, but that doesn't make much sense at all. Why would it be on that guy's belt? I suppose we'll figure that out eventually. But anyway... Boy, I don't know, Mario. It's not like we can just steal that guy's belt. Of course we can! We've got Miss Mouse on our side! She's right down there, we can go ask her. Or can we? What should be our move here? Battle our way to the top. Definitely get a lot of experience that way. That's the ticket, Mario. Do this thing right! All you have to do is become champion, and you'll get that belt fair and square. So I guess we better get started. There must be not a sign-up somewhere. My tummy's getting upset. Let's find the guy in charge before I lose my nerve. Alrighty then, Goops. You're the boss. Everyone's the boss except Mario. Let's talk to these security guys. What's that, bub? You wanna become a fighter? Hmm. Well, if you're serious, you better go meet with Mr. Grubba, the promoter. Mr. Grubba's office is just down the hallway. You can't miss it. Head on through. Is this Mr. Grubba's office? This is a minor league locker room, bub. Sorry, you can't go in there. Fine. Is this Mr. Grubba's office? This is a major league locker room, bub. You, sorry, you can't go in there. Shut up! Is this Grubba's office? What's that? You want us to be a fighter, bub? Oh, all right, go on in. Mr. Grubba's just inside. I wonder who this Grubba guy is. Oh, it's this guy. Who in tarnation are you, son? And who's let you in? This is Grubba's office. Yep, that's me, Grubba. And you, you're one rude dude coming in without knocking. What, what now? An athlete, huh? You wanna be a fighter? Hoo-wee! That dude changed a thing or two, son. I always got time for an upcomer. Yep, this place is back to the gills with young fighters all primed and raring to go. I gotta say, son, you're a bit skinny for my tastes, but I'm willing to give you a shot. Skinny? Mario? <laughs> really? Now play me straight, son. You wanna live the glamorous life of a champ, don't you? Not particularly, but glamour is everything, I guess. Alright, alright, son. I hear where you're coming from, son, loud and clear. When I was with the poor bub, I didn't get a pokey spittoon for a big fancy bitty wave. For a fancy big city waves. But I jumped into the world of martial arts and fought my way to fame and riches. And I know and know what I realized? Be being rich and famous is diggity dang dynamite! Now I can't mix it up in the ring no more, but I earned enough to set me for life. You read me here, son? Your dreams do come true, even if they ain't yours exactly. Yeah, that's the key, son. Dream big and you'll get big, and that that's the winner's way. 
And when you make it big, you'll look back at all those small small dreamers and laugh. You reading me here, son? Mm-hmm. That's the spirit, Chief. Here, let's have a, a little walk and talk. Come on now. La 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 We're not talking While we're walking Ooh, this is a fancy room Now how do you like this pod? Just feast your eyes, go on This is the champion's room Isn't it a sight? Deluxe! You become champ son and you get the key to this room That ain't all of course That's on the top of the big money and screaming fans Yeah, no doubt about it son Buy yourself and a life of wealth and comfort awaits. Now, uh, here we have the Major League Crocker room. A lot of contestant contenders here. What do you think? What you think, son? Not exactly clamorous, but it's clean and comfortable. Totally sanitary, too. Maybe I'm old-fashioned, but I care about my fighters, darn it. Now, I'm sure you know this already, but son, there ain't one but one world champion. Claw on your way to the to the top and taking the belt to become, to become champ ain't an easy thing. That's the point, son. Wouldn't be worth it if there were no challenge. I can see you got the fire for it too, Barb. You got the eye of the tiger there. You're gonna be champ. I can just feel it. I ain't never been so sure about a fighter. Oh, hey, one of the other things. You gotta sign a little... You gotta sign an itty bitty contract to become a fighter. It ain't no thing. Just take a second or two of your time. Just sign your name here, okay? Who, who reads contracts anyway? Best thing you ever done, son. Now your Mario ain't a bad handle. Still, gotta say, Bart, it does lack a little punch of spiders in. Get me? Let me see here. Bam! Hoo-wee! I got it! From now on, you're gonna be the Great Gonzalez. Who? Ain't that a beaut? Dang it, dang it, that ain't a stroke of genius. A name that good comes around once a lifetime. Yep, everyone will soon bow before the Great Gonzalez. Make me proud, son. Bow before the Great Gonzalez. Bow before me. Well, now that we... Well, now we... Well, now that we... Well, now that we got the boot... This accident is going to be the death of me. Well, now that we got the business side out of the way... Jolene, could you come in here a minute, Don? Though I have to say, I think I'm sort of getting it. Yes, sir. You wish to see me? Surely, it, huh? Jolene, this is the newest Great Gonzalez. This is the newest Great Gonzalez. <laughs> Why can I not read? Jolene, this is the Great Gonzalez, a new rising star. Be a peach and take him on down to the minor league locker room, all right? Right away, sir. Mr. Gonzalez, if you will be so kind, please follow me. All right, Mr. Lean. As you know, you are a contracted fighter now, so you must abide by some rules. First and foremost, what Mr. Grubba says goes. Period. You must do what he says. Also, as per your contract, you cannot quit until Mr. Grubba releases you. There are many other small guidelines that I will explain as they become that relevant. Well, this place is a dump. I didn't sign up for this. I want my money back. Well, here we are. This is your locker room. You're starting in the minor league, of course, as you've just now started your career. If you don't like this dingy room, I suggest you work your way up through the ranks. When you're ready to fight, you just log onto this computer terminal here. Mr. Grubba will then decide who you'll match up against. You ha you will have no say in this. Why don't you try it once? Walk up to the screen and log on with A. And pick a reserve a match. Fine. Well, howdy, Gonzalez. Where do you get your fist dirty, huh? There you go, son. I got a, I got a treat for you. Your first battle's gonna be against the Goomba Bros. Don't you worry about them. There'll, there'll be a piece of cake. Just mom up, okay, son? Hey, we want to get everyone fired up, though, so appeal to the crowd at least once. You got any questions about detailed rules? Just ask the lovely Miss Julene, okay, son? Well, good luck, part. Okay, your battle is reserved. At this point, you just wait until security comes for you. Fighting is pretty basic. The team that drops the opponent's HP to zero first wins. If you beat an opponent who r ranks above you, your ranking will go up. Then again, if you lose to a lower ranking opponent, your ranking will go down. Simply winning is not enough. 
when Mr. Grubba sets fight conditions, follow them. In this case, the condition is to appeal to the crowd at least once. Fairly easy. You satisfy the condition and win, you can battle a higher ranked opponent next. You have got your rank up to 11th, you'll get a shot at the Major League. That's about, that's about all you need to know for now. Did you understand all that? Yep. E yep. Okay, good. For now, just wait until security comes to get you, Mr. Gonzalez. Hi. <laughs> I do believe I'll go out for my regular stroll soon. Hi. Grack! Mustache is a fighter! Gonzalez, match time. Follow me, bub. Okay, security's here to escort you to the ring. Try not to get completely destroyed out there. If you have any questions, feel free to BOMB ask me! I don't wake you after all. BOMB! Okay. Hi. Take care of yourself, dog, and don't make any rookie mistakes, know what I mean? At least these two are pleasant. That guy's freaky and that guy's mean. Alright, let's go fight our first battle! Yay! This chapter is mostly battling. Mostly, though. So I better learn my action commands, huh? Squaring off next, folks, are the Hoppin' Hardheads, the Goomba Brothers, and a newcomer with a hankering, hankering for hammering, the Gray Gonzalez. The Goomba Brothers have been waiting and getting all hit up for the fight. Let's check in. How do you do, Goomba Brothers? How y'all feeling today? You ready for this fight? Ha! Are you kidding, man? We're always ready to bonk a fool or two. Who's this Gonzalez rookie? A cocky idiot, that's who. Waiting just makes us mad. We're gonna teach this tardy bunk how to respect fighters with seniority. I think maybe maybe you could all to call an ambulance for him now, just to save time later. Hot diggity dang, fight vans, there's the great Gonzalez now. Dry nano. I tell you, Coop. I tell you, this rookie's got some guts strolling up late like he owns the place. Who? Okay now, Gonzalez, listen up. Let me just explain the rules of the match real quick. Have a bonk, punk! Your foe struck first. Ouch. Appeal to the crowd at least once. Hey, that's not fair. You can't attack before the bell rings. That's cheating. Come on, Mario. We, can, we can't let a bunch of cheaters beat us. Let's take them down. I'll quit crying, will you? That was just a little welcome gift for the rookie. Where's our thank you? Appeal to the crowd at least once. Coops are so cute. Jump on all foes in a row with perfect action merit action commands. You were saying? Exactly. Urgh. The Great Gonzalez wins! Tell me something, what was this first exit victory like? That fight? What a joke! No kidding! I'll tell you what I just saw, folks. A whooping! This kid's got skills! You don't say! God sells a new hero! Let's hear for him, folks! Yeah! The Great Gonzalez! Confetti from nowhere! Well, Gonzalez, that fight wasn't a total loss. But listen, son, fighters. But listen, son. Fighters gotta play to the crowd. You know, pump them up more. I'm hoping you'll give me more razzle-dazzle next time, huh? We understand each other? Good, I'll be on my way then. Mr. Lean here will give you their fight money. See ya. Ooh, we get prizes. Yay! Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. You got three coins. Mars ranking rose to 19. The next fight will not be set until you select reserve a match on the terminal. You can also check your current ranking on the terminal screen. Feel free to do whatever you like until your next fight. You have a nice day, Mr. Gonzalez. Yo, Rook, how was your first fight, dog? I'm King K, man. Just a bush league scrub like you. Good mean you, man. You look like a stand-up dude. I think I can hang with you. Hey, so why don't you meet the gang, huh? This guy's here. This guy here is Master Crash. Nice to meet you, Bomb. Well, now that we've gotten to know each other, I'll give you some. I'll give you advice, Bomb. As Mr. Jolene, as Mr. Lean was saying, you better Bomb obey Mr. Grub Grub's conditions. If you clear the conditions and win, you'll get you'll 
you get to fight higher ranked foes. Bomb! If you can't clear them, you bomb! End up battling a lower ranked fighter. Bomb! You can't climb the bomb ranks and you can't climb the bomb ranks fighting the bottom of the barrel. Bomb! -bomb! Yeah, my man's got, you know, some speech issues, but he's got uh, good advice sometimes. Not just sometimes. Bomb! Advice is always useful. Bomb! Bomb! Right, man, whatever. Anyway, this lean machine over here is Bandy Andy. Heh, <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm not, here to, I'm not in here too often, but if you see me around, say hi. Oh yeah, if you sleep in the bed over there, your HP and FP will fully recover. It's not like the cushy bed in the chance room, though. It doesn't refill star power. Okay, cool. And this last guy with the sweet purple kicks is known as Kleftor. Grach! Kleftor no- Kleftor no like friend with must. Kleftor no like make friend with mustache. Easy there, Clef Dog. Dude ain't the friendliest guy, but you get used to him. Anyway, that's the core minor league crew, man. You need something? Ask us. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. You and me gotta eventually square off, so good luck, man. Okay. So, I feel like this was two episodes in this, this recording, so I'm going to take a nap. And next time on Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, we will be fighting up against the ranks of Glitzville of the Glitz Pit Minor League. See you guys then. There's a giant block in here. I want to smash it. Be that way, block. Fine. I never wanted to smash you anyway. I'll just smash this guy. He's me. Grrrg! Crack! No closer! Fine. Be that way. 